This is a battery eliminator through which we will be converting 220 volt AC supply to the desired DC supply. These are the wires which are used to connect battery eliminator to the motors. This is the chassis part in which we will be mounting our motors and wheels. This is a DPDT box consisting of two switches which we will, uh, we will be using to control four motors. This is a 60 RPM center shot motor which we can easily get them in market. Here are the two terminals to which we have soldered wires from the DPDT switches. And as we don't have any kind of polarity issues in the motor, we can solder them as per our wish. This is the shaft of motor to which we will be mounting our wheels. And we have strongly soldered this part. This is a 7 cm diameter wheel which we can easily find in the market along with other sizes. This is a rainbow colored wire which consists of 7 different colors but here as we are controlling just these 4 motors so we will be using 4 different colors. They are brown, black, red and white. Now this is a DVDT box. Now using this switch we will be controlling these four motors. This is a battery eliminator with which we will be converting 220 volt AC supply into desired DC voltage. Now I am going to plug this eliminator into the power switch. As you can see it has turned on. We are setting this eliminator to the 6 volt. Now here are the two jacks which are present at the back side of this eliminator through which we will be con connecting our motor. Now I will be telling you about this motor. This is a 60 rpm center shot motor on which we have mounted this 7 cm diameter wheel. And now I am connecting this wire to the eliminator wire. As you can see, on connecting it, the wheel starts rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Now, I will be changing the voltage supply and you can see that at different voltage, the wheel will be rotating at different RPM. Now, currently it is at 7.5 volt. Now, I will be making it to 8 volt. You can see the speed further increase. Now you can see that the voltage supply is directly proportional to the speed of rotation of the motor. Now I will be showing you the two terminals of the motor. As in this motor there are no such issues of the polarity so we can connect them as per our wish. Now you can see that at the current polarity the wheel is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Now, I will be changing the polarity in front of you and you can see that the wheel will start rotating in the opposite direction. Now here you can see that now the direction of rotation is clockwise in this case.
touchdown. Now we learn about DPDT switch connection. DPDT stands for dual pole dual throw. A DPDT switch has six pins as shown. Now to make connections, short pins one and four and three and six together. Next, take a power source and connect it across pins two and five. Then take the motor and connect it across pins three and four. Now. Whenever you press the switch forward, then pins 5 and 6 get shorted and pins 1 and 2 get shorted. Then the current flows as shown and the motor rotates in anti-clockwise direction. Now when you press the switch backwards, then pins 5 and 4 and 2 and 3 get shorted and the polarity of the motor reverses and the motor rotates in clockwise direction. This is how DPDT switch connection is made. Now let's have a look at the overall circuit diagram. This is your bot and these are your motors. Now connect the positive of the left motors together, the negative of the left motors together. Repeat the same with the right motors. Now take these connections out separately as shown. Now connect this to the DPDT switches and then there's one more thing that you require is the power source. So this is the overall circuit diagram and we have already discussed the connections of the DPDT switch.